Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be talking about the hybrid vehicle technology. Hybrid vehicles are now popular in India and everyone is buying them. Talking about the hybrid vehicles in India, to currently Toyota is leading the market, but coming future we'll be seeing so many OEMs coming up with the hybrid vehicles. So it's very important for us to understand the hybrid vehicle, not only for the from the purpose of driving it, but from the technology side, how it works under different driving conditions, also how they perform. So this video is basically a detailed video in which we'll be covering about the hybrid vehicle technology. So in this video, we'll be basically talking about the ECVT, which basically stands for electrical continuous variable transmission which is one of the most important you can say part of this whole hybrid vehicle and this is a basically a gear system you can say for your or you can say a transmission system for your vehicle so hybrid vehicles basically consist of this ecvt which helps in uh, under, which help you understand how your vehicles basically behave under different conditions if you are driving if you are cruising if you are demanding any extra torque how your vehicle behaves whenever the when engine starts when engine needs to stop and why engines start when you are decreasing the speed these kind of questions come when you will be driving the hybrid vehicles and the sudden start and stop of your engine will basically trigger your mind and will let you uh, will let you question like how this vehicle works so this video will help you understand each and every aspect of this uh, hybrid vehicle technology so in this uh, video we'll be basically talking about the component of the ecvt which will help you understand which needs uh, basic build up of the uh, things and how it works and after that we will talk about the power split power split is basically starting off which is basically when you will first start the vehicle during acceleration when you require a high speed high torque any kind of this any this any kind of things you will be needing from your vehicle for under deceleration how your vehicle behaves how region work and which kind of things need to be work and what component work to uh, make your vehicle region recharge the battery and why engine start these all questions will be answered in this and the last one is the ev mode so if you talk about the ev mode no so before i i think before 2010 there was only a uh, uh, three kind of you can say if you'll talk about hybrid vehicles there are parallel hybrid series hybrid and uh, you can say plug-in hybrids so plug-in hybrids are the different league of uh, league of vehicles they basically charge the vehicle and uh, with the external charges and can help in, uh, help it drive with the vehicle with the engine as well so series hybrid and parallel hybrids are the two different things so we'll talk that also in the details but talking about the uh, understanding of ecvt will basically helps you understand the vehicle uh, drivability so talking about the first component that we need to understand is your basic layout of your transmission so this is your engine this is your engine normal engine which is basically connected to this mg1 mg1 is the motor and this g stands for generator so when we talk about the uh, uh, when we talk about the motor and generator it's basically combined in the same unit and this is your planetary gear system planetary gear system and this is your mg1 so there are basically uh, two two uh, mg mgs in your vehicle first one is the mg1 and second one is the mg2 mg1 is always connected to your engine mg2 always provide power to your wheel now we will understand why we need two kind of an mg system when we'll talk about the how power split works in the uh, hybrid vehicle now we will uh, now we will deep dive into the components level and, and try to understand the things in a minute level so if we'll talk about this mg1 so mg1 from the sideway looks like this okay so in this we have stator and rotor stators are basically uh, this and these are your rotors okay so uh, mg1 and mg2 have a different connection in your vehicle only mg2 is connected to your wheel or to your axle which basically transmit the power to your wheels and drive your vehicle and mg1 is basically connected to your uh, engine starts and stop the engine and provide extra power during the different kind of scenarios so these rotors and uh, stators could be wired or could be magnet kind of both depending upon your oems configuration it could change if you look at this image you will be able to get the better idea like what kind of thing is there and this is basically your wires connected to your hv system and before that there is an inverter and basically a converter 
and this is a planetary gear system this planetary gear system helps in engaging disengaging your engine with your transmission provide extra power to your uh, final driving axles with the power split power torque and basically converting engaging and disengaging with the transmission and converting it into the whole different way of uh, working scenarios so this is one of the most important thing and it's a very interested kind of things you can say in terms of a transmission system now going forward we'll uh, talk more about the mg1 and mg2 so as i said mg1 is basically connected to your engine and this is connected via a torsion damper torsion damper is basically a two clutch plate like this they are basically connected in such a way and whenever there is a requirement they'll connect and whenever there is a uh, because for smooth connection and disengage because these two things cut and uh, because these two things connect so it's required a smooth connection so for the smooth connection we have a torsion damper which is basically behave as a dry clutch they behave as a dry clutch in your system and it basically helps in engaging and disengaging your vehicle properly inside properly so that there is no jerk whenever they are connecting engine power and the mg uh, electrical power to be the same excel kind of things connected towards a same point so now we will talk about mg2 mg2 is basically a powerhouse or you can say a main system that connects with your wheel and helps in moving your vehicle forward this mg2 works as a consumption or we can say a parasite what we call in an automotive <laughs> second one is the regeneration this regenerations help in charging and it basically uh, connects with both the things it connects with your bp pack hv bp pack and it connects with the engine as well which is via mg1 okay so uh, this both the things are done with the uh, with the help of your mg2 and mg2 is one of the most important things so keep in mind that mg2 is your most important component and mg1 helps in connecting this and connecting and providing extra power to mg2 and helps in recharging the batteries with the help of an engine now we will talk about the resolver this resolver is one of the most key important thing in your mg2 this helps in made, uh, getting the positioning direction so that your wheel can move forward and backward and helps uh, helps your vehicle perform the automotive task or whatever the uh, conditions you have asked to move in uh, to stop to start to move forward and to move backward so this resolvers is one of the most important sensor it basically communicate with the help of ecu and this ecu communicate and provide the commands to the mg1 and mg2s accordingly start the engine not to start the engine all these kind of things are being controlled with the input of this resolver and it has a temperature sensor as well whenever required it can stop your vehicle if there is an over use of this mg2 or uh, there is an extra power coming up from the mg1 so this resolver is one of the most important thing in your mg2 so now we will talk about a uh, different split type uh, like how we, when you are when you will be starting your vehicle how your vehicle is going to behave what kind of uh, things going to engage disengage and how your vehicle is going to uh, basically perform in a different scenarios like let's starts with the first thing which is starting of your vehicle because when you're really ent entering into your vehicle you'll be first doing it it you will be starting and moving it forward with the help of an mg1 and mg2 so first we will talk about the starting of your vehicle whenever you'll be entering your vehicle you'll be first doing is starting your vehicle and moving ahead with the initial start so this is your hybrid high voltage bp pack so this high voltage BP pack is transferred to your inverter slash converter. This inverter and converter slash then power transfer it to your stator and rotor. This basically generates an energy between the stator and rotor and tries to move your uh, stator and start this MG2. In this scenario, only power is coming from the high voltage engine in this is disconnected engine is not working in this scenario so all the power is coming from your high voltage battery which first goes to your inverter and generator and this inverter and converter uh, converter helps in converting the 550 volts 
for your 12 volt system going future we are going to eliminate this to, uh, 12 volt and we'll be using a 48 volt technology which saves money what, how it saves money for that you can subscribe our or you can follow us on in the instagram channel we will basically put this into a one minute video and we'll try to explain you with this small uh, graphics how this 12 volt to 48 volt technology is going to save a huge amount for the automotive industry so the power is coming from the uh, high voltage inverter converter to your mg2 this mg2 stator and generator basically generates the power and it's tried to uh, magnetic field tries to rotate your your rotor and this rotor basically moves and your vehicle start moving forward so this is the initial flow but whenever you'll be starting or when you will be demanding the extra torque how this extra torque is coming how this uh, mg2 is increasing its power so talking about that in the uh, next video next slide so the split of the power is basically to understand you how basically a basic split of power is being configured so this high voltage battery is coming to your inverter assembly this inverter assembly is going to your mg2 this mg2 is directly transferring it to your transmission this transmission is rotating your wheels so this is a basic power flow of your system and it will uh, it will continue till you basically demand an extra power so this extra power is being fulfilled by the other thing components such as your engine and mg2 which is one of the most fascinating thing and one of the most important thing if you'll talk about in the hybrid vehicle because starting your vehicle in an ev mode starting your vehicle uh, without the engine is not a big deal but when you'll be requiring an extra power how engine consumption works how power supply works that's the most important thing in the hybrid vehicle and the fascinating thing about the hybrid vehicle so now we'll be talking about the acceleration and a heavy load system. So in a heavy load requirement, what happened is this MG2 power is being, uh, being compensated or being provided with the help of an MG1. So what happened is when MG, uh, MG, this MG2 started and the engine started, MG2, uh, MG1 also starts to move. And this MG1, it's connected with the planetary power, uh, you can say split gear type of things. And this starts to move and provide the uh, power, extra power, extra electricity, so that a, a proper a use of an MG2 can be done there. And this proper use of this could only be fulfilled by extra power or extra juice from the hybrid high voltage or from any another external source, which is being an MG1. So MG1 works with uh, works in collaborations or with the help of this gear system, it connects and provide an extra power to MG2. And for your information, if you require suppose you are gen, uh, you are asking for an torque and if you are asking for an extra mechanical push from your electric motor it can provide 2x time of an torque and 2x time of a mechanical push compared to the same engine suppose your engine is providing you a for an hypothetical way 10 newton meters with a you can say a 100 cc of an engine so for the same configuration of 100 cc if you provide uh, if you required an uh, torque it would provide you 2x matlab 10 uh, uh, two times of 10 newton meters so uh, so this, in this scenario electric motors basically surpasses the engine and surpasses the uh, surpasses all the uh, all the basic configuration so suppose from a small electric motor we can basically generate two times the power of and compare uh, compared to the same engine configuration so this makes the electric uh, vehicle or you can say an hybrid vehicle more efficient more uh, you can say because with a small component we can generate more power so talking about the power flow of this in a heavy acceleration is so what happened is this mg2 is basically working in a sim uh, in a sing in a simple way it's providing the power now we require an extra torque so this engine gets started this engine starts and starts moving the mg1 this mg1 power is being now transferred with the help of a planetary gear system to mg2 so this two things are, are working uh, in a uh, in a in a in a in a synchronous manner so this mg1 and mg2 are working in a synchronous manner and they are providing a power to the wheel now suppose this mg2 is also consuming the hybrid uh, voltage battery now if this hybrid uh, volt, uh, this high voltage battery power is being depleted to certain number uh, for an uh, i can say if i took an assumption it's around 40% now what happened is this mg2 is working extra and this extra power is being transferred 
to your battery to get it recharged. So this MG1 is basically a main power source and it helps, it works as a power source only. It works as a generator, not as mostly as a motor, but it, it, can, it helps in providing the energy engine to MG2 and to the hybrid uh, high voltage battery pack so that both the things can be uh, work in a uh, good synchronous way and it can helps in providing us the power and move the vehicle without any interruption so mg2 is one of the most important as you can say most uh, one of the most important thing uh, for your vehicle because it connects both the things uh, it connect best of the electrical world and the ic engine this connects with the help of an uh, MG1 only. So MG1 is basically an intermediate system with, uh, which helps in driving your vehicle without interruption, providing extra power, heavy load into the uh, whenever is required. And it also charge your high, uh, you can say high voltage battery. Now we will talk about the deacceleration of your vehicle. Deacceleration of your vehicle is basically stopping your vehicle without using your, uh, or you can say we, you are not requesting any further forward movement of your vehicle. So in this scenario, what happened is the power is coming from your wheel to your axle and via axle to your motor. So in this scenario, what happened is this extra mechanical torque, whatever is being present is being transferred to your motor generator. This motor generator then uh, generates and change its polarity and requests to uh, work as a generator. This generator uh, transfer all the powers from this wire to your IC inverter and converter this inverter converter then transfer all the powers from uh, and basically boosting it transfer it to the uh, battery uh, you can say high voltage battery pack and it recharges. and this is how a basic regeneration work now we will look into the power split and we'll understand why engine start whenever you're decelerating so what happened is as i told you for the basic this wheels uh, talk extra talk is being transferred to your mg1 this mg1 generates and power supply is being to inverter assembly this inverter assembly power and recharge the hybrid wake uh, high voltage battery pack now what happened is suppose you are decelerating and in this deacceleration what happening is your vehicle is moving freely your if vehicle is generating and power uh, torque but it should be within a limit it shouldn't be like free flowing your vehicle if you are coming down the hill suppose your vehicle is coming down the hill it will generate more uh, energy and it will it can basically generate more heat in this mg2 so what happen is to stop the vehicle within a limit and not to let this mg to generate more power or extra power or extra heat to control the heat our engine comes into play this engine starts this mg1 this mg1 then tries to restrict the movement of this mg2 so what happen is if it's moving this way it will try to restrict and it will not allow it to move extra forward and it will try to push it like this so in this scenario the uh, opposite polarity the both mg1 and mg2 is working in a different direction and it stops the vehicle within a limit and it generate does not generate extra heat with the movement of your wheels and tire that are moving freely so in that's why we need to have a engine in play and that's why it's required that we should understand why our engine starts whenever we are decelerating it's very important for electrical components to not heat up and not generate extra energy so that your hybrid vehicle inverter converter could can that could be damaged with the extra movement or extra power that is being supplied by your mg2 to restrict that mg1 and engine comes into play and save that now moving forward we'll talk about only ev mode so ev mode is the new thing in the uh, uh, you can say hybrid vehicles so in this what happened is we basically lock this mg1 and engine engine part the only power is being transferred is from the hybrid vehicle to your inverter, inverter to your MG2, and MG2 to your wheels. So this is the basic power flow of the system. But there are certain conditions that we need to understand. So first and foremost, these conditions are like first, it uh, your vehicle will only work in the EV mode under a certain charging level up to a certain speed and if your vehicle charging level or hybrid vehicle uh, this system gets uh, reduced to suppose 40 percent it will start the engine okay and if you require an extra torque slash speed then what happen is your engine will start 
So in these two kind of conditions, your engine will automatically start. It will, it will surpass your this EV mode button. It will stop working in this scenario and it will start the engine. So I hope you understand. You get to know the basic criteria of this whole understanding uh, of the hybrid vehicle technology, how it works, how it basically performs in different conditions. If you have any kind of question, if you have any kind of uh, query, feel free to comment down below, like and share this video with your friends and family, whosoever uh, is going to own the hybrid vehicle. For them, it's very important to understand how a hybrid vehicle went. And if you own a hybrid vehicle, it's very important for you as well to understand how a hybrid vehicles work. So thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.